जजाली वीर युक्ति अपेक्षणीय तात्राति दक्ष अतिबल बस्य बंदे गुरु श्री चरण रृंद सक्षाधरित न समस्त शाश्री रुक्त तथा भव्यत किंतु प्रवर प्रिय तंडे गुरु श्री चरण रोविंद किंतु प्रवर प्रिय वंदे गुरु श्री चरण वृंद यसाद भगव प्रसाद साधन नगति कुतपी प्रसादन नगति कुतपी जायम तो बम तस यात्र बंदे गुरु श्री चरण रोविंद दयाम शुभम तस यात्र बंदे गुरु श्री चरण रोविंद दयाम शुभम तस जय जय प्रभु 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 जय जय प्रभु जय जय गुरुदे 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 जय जय गुरुदे विष्णु पदय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूताले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदंत स्वामी नीने नम जय प्रभु पार नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष सुनवरी पचतारे सतारी ने विशेष सुनवरी 
Hare 
Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, oh, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Yara Ye Nama Krishna Jadava Ye Nama Hare Yara Ye Jadava Ye Madava Ye Krishna Va Ye Nama Gopal Govinda Ram Shimad Sudha Girid Hari Gopinath Madana Mohan Shri Chaitanya Nityananda Shri Adeta Sita Hari Guru Vaishnava Bhagavata Gita Shri Rupa Sanatana Bhattara Guna Shri Jiva Gopala Bhattara Hari Yara Ye Nama Krishna Jadava Ye Nama Gopal Govinda Ram Shri Madhu Sudam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Ramo Ramo Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Shishi Radha Nilamadhav Radha Nilamadhav Radha Jaya Jagannatha Jaya Balade Jaya Subhadra Jaya Sudarshan Chakra Jagannatha Balade Subhadra Manjaya 
जय सीता राम लक्ष्मण हनुमान जय सीता राम लक्ष्मण हनुमान शिशि गौरनीताय गौरनीताय जय गौरनीताय जय गौरनीताय Hari bo, Hari bo, ni tai go, Hari bo, ni tai go, Hari bo, Hari bo, Hari bo, ni tai go, Jaya Jaya Prabhu Pa, Prabhu Pa, Prabhu Pa, Jaya Jaya Prabhu Pa. Jai Jai Guru Dev, Guru Dev, Guru Dev, Jai Jai Guru Dev. Jai Vishu Par Paramahansa Pravajaka Chari Suttara Sarasi Shimad. His divine grace, Abhacharavina Bhakti Viranta Swami Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. इस कान प्रतिष्ठा भी वित्त सांस्त पक्का चाहिए जगत गुरु वैष्णव श्रोमणि श्रोपा उपार जी महाराज की जाए जाए ओम विष्णु पार परमंत सप्रभाज का चाहिए सुत्तर सरस्वती शिमार श्रोपा की सिद्धांत सरस्वती ठाकुर गोस्वामी महाराज प्रभु पार की जाए श्री गोरिया गुरु वार गापति तो धार की जाए श्री रूप सनातन भात्र प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चौहितन प्रभु नितानंद श्रद्धे तक राधाश्व सरी गोर भक्त वरिंद की जय परम दयाल से नितानंद प्रभु की जय प्रेम नाम संकीर्तने एक जनाक प्रेम पुरुषोत्तम श्री सचिनंदन श्रीमान गोरंग श्री चौहितन महाप्रभु मावरे नायबतार की जय गोलोकेर प्रमदान हरि नाम संकीर्तन यज्ञ की जय जुगधर्म हरे कृष्ण शिष्य राधा कृष्ण गोपुक्तन राधा कुंसम कुं गिरिराज गुवर्धन की जाए शिव रजबुम रिंदा बनमतु राम की जाए तेमुस बीर फिलोसी शिष्य राधा नीलामाधव की जाए सुमायपुर नवदीप एक चक्रधाम की जाए भ्रम करुण शिष्य गोरुनिताय की जाए शिव पुरुषोत्तम केत्र जगन्नाथ पुरिधाम की जाए शिव जगन्नाथ स्वामी बलदे� गंगा माय जमुना माय की जय तुलस महारानी ब्रिंदी देवी भक्ति देवी की जय श्री मति प्रदारानी की जय समवेत भक्त ब्रिंदी की जय निताय गोवरी प्रमाणंदे यानी बो आल ग्लोरिस दिया संबल बोरिस आल ग्लोरिस दिया संबल बोरिस आल ग्लोरिस दिया संबल बोरिस आल ग्लोरिस आल ग्लोरिस आल ग्लोरिस तो श्री श्री गुरु श्री गु Narasinghaya Namaste Narasinghaya Pala Jada Jada Ene Pala Jada Jada Ene Hiranna Kasi Purvaksa Anna kashe purvaksa Silatanka nakalaye Silatanka nakalaye Ito ni singha parato ni singha Ito ni singha parato ni singha Ito ni singha parato ni singha 
पीतो निसिंह पर तो निसिंह जत जत जामी तो निसिंह जत जत जामी तो निसिंह सिंह हृदय सिंह महेन सिंह हृदय सिंह महेन सिंह हृदय सिंह सिंह मदीम सर नाम प्रपदे नार सिंह मदीम सर नाम प्रपदे तब कर कमल बरे ना अद्भुत सिंह दलिता हिरण कशिप तनु बेंगा की सब अधिता नर हरि रूपा जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे तब कर कमल बरे अद्भुत सिंह ललिता हिरण कशिप तनु बिंगा की सब अधिता नर हरि रूपा जय जगदीश हरे जयो निसिंह देव जयो निसिंह देव निसिंह देव जयो निसिंह देव जय पल्लाद महाराज पल्लाद महाराज पल्लाद महाराज जय पल्लाद महाराज जय जय प्रभुपाद 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 जय जय प्रभुपाद भक्त विघ्न बिन आशय लक्ष्मण सिंह देव भगवान की भक्त राज प्रहलाद महाराज की जय जय नीता गो सीतनाथ प्रमानंदे हरि हरि भो श्री वृंदाय तुलसी देव भाई पियाई के सभा सत्य विष्णु भक्ति प्रदीरी सत वाताय नमो नम आई तुलसी रे भाई पे आया के सब सत्य विष्णु भक्ति प्रदीरी भी सत बताए नमो नम तुलसी रे भाई पे आया के सब सत्य विष्णु भक्ति प्रदीरी भी सत बताए नमो नम
Şimdi de tutsun Maharan şimdi de bir ki Namo Nama. And I probably just this on stage. Namo Nama to Lassi Krishna Payasi. Namo Nama. Lassi Krishna Prayasi Namo Nama Radha Krishna Seva Pabo Eya Bilasi It's too long. Radha Krishna Seva Pabo Eya Vilasi Jeto Mara Sharana Loi Tara Vansha Purna Kripa koi koro tare Vrindavana vasi Moraye ya bilan Vilas kunje di oba Naya ne heri vosada jugala rupa rasi Eni Vedana Daro Sakir Anugata Koro Seva Adhikara Diye Koro Nijadasi Dina Krishna Dase Koi Eye Namora Hoi Shri Radha Govinda Preme Sadaye Nabasi
Shriyata Govinda Preme Sajayena Basi Yani kani chapa pani Brahma jati kani cha Tani tani prana shanti Pradakshina pade pade Yani kani cha pa pa ni Brahma tati kani cha Tani tani prana shanti Pradakshina pade pade Yani kani cha papani brahma jati kani cha tani tani prana shanti production of a day party. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jaya Vinda Devi, Jaya Vinda Devi, Jaya Vinda Devi, Jaya Vinda Devi. Jaya Tusi Maharani, Jaya Tusi Maharani, Jaya Tusi Maharani, Jaya Tusi Maharani. Nita Gora Hariba 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 Nita Gora Hariba Vishnu Bhakti Pradivi Sattva Bhattaya Namo Namo Vishnu Bhakti Pradivi Sattva Bhattaya Namo
My desire is that you also give me a residence in Pleasure Grove, Street, Rindavan Ham. That's within my vision. I will always behold the beautiful pastimes of Radha and Krishna. I beg you to make me a follower of Kavidem Zerbs of Raj. Please give me the privilege of devotional service and make me your own met servant. This very fallen and lowly servant of Krishna praise. May I always stream in love. Shishri Radha. Shmati to smile. In the Navy ki jai. Shishri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Shri Kyastakam ki jai. Chaito Darpanam Marjanam. Dagni Nivapanam. Shriyakari Vachandika Vitaranam Vidyavadu. Jivanam, Anandam, Budivadanam, Pratipadam, Purna, Mitaswadanam, Sarvatmas, Nam, Param, Param, Vijayati, Shri Krishna, Sankirtanam, Nam, Nam, Akari, Baudha, Nisa, Sarva, Shakti, Tatrat, Pita, Niamita, Smarani, Nakala, Itad, Rishitava, Kripaya, Bhagavan, Mamati, Durdhaiva mi drisham ya janina nuraka Trinada pi suni chena taro rapi sahishna Amani na mana dena kirtaniya sudahari Nadhanam na janam na sundarim kavitam vaja garisha kamaye Mama janmani janmani shari bhavata bhakti rahai tu kitwai Ai nanda tanuja kinkaram Paditam Mambhisame Bhavam Budav Kripayata Vapada Pankajastita Duli Sadrisam Vichinta Nayanam Galora Shrudharaya Vadanam Gadagada Rudaya Gira Pulakairin Chitam Bapokada Tavanama Grahani Bhavishya Juga Itam Nimishena Chakrusha Prarisa Itam Shunya itam jagat sarvam govinda virahinam Asli shabha padaratam pinastumam Adarshanar marmahatam karotuva Jatata thava vidadatu lampato matprana tastu saiva bara Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama Ramu Ramu Hari Mavra Naya Krishna Prabhupada Krishna Naya Krishna Chaitanya Guru Tishnava Glory is to the Sri Krishna Sankirtana which cleanses the heart of the dust accumulated for years and extinguishes the fire of conditional life or repeated birth and death. This Sankirtan moment is the prime benediction for humanity at large because it spreads the rays of the benediction moon. It is the life of transcendental knowledge. It increases the ocean of transcendental bliss and enables us to fully test the nectar for which we are always anxious. O oh my Lord, your holy names alone can rain the all benediction to living beings. And thus you have hundreds of millions of names like Krishna and Govinda. In these transcendental names you have invested all your transcendental energies. There is no even hard and fast rule for chanting these names. O oh my Lord, out of kindness, you enable us easily to approach you by your holy names. But I'm so unfortunate that I have no attraction for them. Once you chant the holy name of the Lord in a humble state of mind, think of oneself, Lord, and strolling the street. One should be more tolerant than a tree, devoid of sense of all prestige, and should be ready to offer respect to others. In such state of mind, one can chant the holy name, the Lord, constantly. O oh, Almighty Lord, I have no desire to accumulate wealth. Nor do I desire beautiful women, nor do I want any number of followers. I only want your cause of divorce and service, birth after birth. O Son of Maharaj, Nanda Krishna, I am your eternal servitor. Yet some or other I have fallen in this ocean of birth and death. Please pick me up from this ocean of death and place me as one of the atoms at your lotus feet. O my Lord, when will my eyes will be decorated with tears of love flowing constantly when I change your holy name. I will my voice choke up. I will the hairs of my body stand on the end of that recitation of your name. O Govinda, feeling your separation, I consider the moment to be like 12 years or more. Tears are flowing from my eyes like torrents of rains, and I feel all vacant in the world in your absence. 
I don't know one but Krishna as my Lord, and she remains so. Even if hundreds me rightfully by his embrace, or makes me broken hearted by not being present before me, he is completely free to do anything and everything. For he's always my worshipful Lord and condition. Okay, there are ten offenses in matter of chanting the holy name of the Lord and must be avoided. They are as follows. One, to blast from devotees who dedicate their life for the propagation of the holy name of the Lord. Two, to consider the names of demigods, the Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma, to be equal to or independent of the name of the Lord Vishnu. Three, to disobey the orders of the spiritual master. Four, to blast fame, the Vedic literature, or literature and pursuance of Vedic version. Five, to consider the glory of chanting Hare Krishna as imagination. Six, to give some mundane interpretation of the holy name of the Lord. Seven, to commit sinful activities on strength of chanting the holy name of the Lord. Eight, to consider the chanting of Hare Krishna as one of the auspicious ritualistic activities Often invaders as fruit of activity karma come. Nine, to instruct the faultless person by the glories of the holy name. And ten, to not have complete faith in chanting with the holy names and maintain material attachments, if not for understanding so many instructions in this matter. It also an offense to be inattentive while chanting. Every devotee who claims to be a Vaishnava must carefully guard against these ten offenses in order to quickly achieve the desired success. Krishna Prima. Now let us offer our respectful blessings unto all the Vaishnavas devoted to the Lord. They are just like desired trees. They can fulfill the desires of everyone and they full of compassion for the fallen conditions. <laughs> Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Janma Itaratas Chartesu Avigyaswara Tene Brahma Hidaya Adikavaye Muyantiyat Surayaha Tejo vari medam yata vini mayo yatra tri sargo mesha Damna svena sada nirasta kuhakam satyam param di mahi O my Lord, Shri Krishna, son of Vasudeva, O all pervading personality of Godhead. I offer my respectful obeisances unto you. I meditate upon Lord Sri Krishna because he is the absolute truth. And the primeval cause of all causes. Of the creation, sustenance, and destruction of the manifested universes. He is directly and indirectly conscious of all manifestations. And he is independent because there is no other cause beyond him. It is he only who first imparted the Vedic knowledge unto the heart of Brahmaji, the original living being. By him, even the great sages and demigods are placed into illusion. As one is bewildered by the illusory representations of water seen on fire or land seen on water. 
Only because of him do the material universes only because of him do the material universes. temporarily manifested by the reaction of the three modes of Tem nature, by the of the three modes of nature appear factual, although they are unreal. Appear factual, although they are unreal. I therefore meditate upon him, Lord Sri Krishna. I therefore meditate upon him, Lord Sri Krishna. Who is eternally existent in the transcendental abode which is forever free from the illusory representations of the material world. Which is forever free from the illusory representation of the material world. I meditate upon him, for he is the absolute truth. I meditate upon him, for he is the absolute truth. Dharma Projita Kaitra Votra. Dharma Projita Kaitra Votra. Paramo Nirmatsaranam Satam. Paramo Nirmatsaranam Satam. Vedyam Vastavam Atra Vastu. Shivadam tapa trayon mulanam. Shivadam tapa trayon mulanam. Shimad Bhagavate Mahamuni Krite. Shimad Bhagavate Mahamuni Krite. Kimba Purir Ishwaraha. Kimba Purir Ishwaraha. Sadyo Hidi Abarudya Te Tra. Sadyo Hidi Abarudya Te Tra. Krite Bihi Susu Subis Takshanat. Krite Bihi Susu Subis Takshanat. Completely rejecting all religious activities which are materially motivated. This Bhagavata Purana propounds the highest truth, which is understandable by those devotees who are fully pure in heart. The highest truth is reality distinguished from illusion for the welfare of all. Such truth uproots the threefold miseries. This beautiful Bhagavatam, compiled by the great sage Vyasadeva in his maturity, is sufficient in itself for God realization. What is the need of any other scripture? As soon as one attentively and submissively hears the message of Bhagavatam, by this culture of knowledge, the Supreme Lord is established within his heart. And Nigama Kalpaturo Galitam Falam. Nigama Kalpaturo Galitam Falam. Sukumakad Amrita Dravya Sam Yutam. Sukumakad Amrita Dravya Sam Yutam. Pibata Bhagavatam Rasam Alayam. Pibata Bhagavatam Rasam Alayam. Muhur Ahuraska Bhuvi Bhavukaha. Muhur Ahuraska Bhuvi Bhavukaha. O expert and thoughtful men, relish Shimad Bhagavatam. O expert and thoughtful men, relish Shimad the mature fruit of the desired tree of Vedic literature is it emanated from the lips of Sri Sukadeva Goswami. Therefore, this fruit has become even more tasteful. Although his nectarian juice was already relishable for all, including liberated souls. Shinvatam Swakata Krishna. Punya Shravana Kirtana Punya Shravana Kirtana Hedyantak Sto Bhadrani Hedyantak Sto Yabhadrani Vidu Nati Srihit Satam To hear about Krishna from Vedic literature To hear about Krishna from Vedic literature Or to hear about him Or to hear from him directly from the Bhagavad Gita Or to hear from him directly from the Bhagavad Gita I'm sorry Or to hear from him directly through the Bhagavad Gita is itself righteous activity. It is self -righteous activity. And for one who hears about Krishna, and for one who hears about Krishna Lord Krishna, who is Lord dwelling in everyone's heart, Lord Krishna, who is dwelling within everyone's heart, acts as a best wishing friend, acts as the best wishing friend and purifies the devotee who constantly engages in hearing of him. And purifies the devotee who is constantly engaged in hearing of him. Nasta preesu bhadresu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Sloke Bhakti Bhavati Naistiki In this way, a devotee naturally develops his dormant transcendental knowledge. As he hears more about Krishna from the Bhagavatam and from the devotees, he becomes fixed in the devotional service of the Lord. He becomes fixed in his devotional service to the Lord. Tadarajas tamo bhavu. 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 Tadarajas
Kama loba dayas chaye, Chitta anadi anavit nam, Stitpam satve prasiddhati. By development of devotional service, one becomes freed from the modes of passion and ignorance. And thus, material lusts and avarice are diminished. Evam prasana manaso, Bhagavat bhakti yogataha, Bhagavat tattva vijnana, Mukta sangasya jayate. When these impurities are wiped away, the candidate remains steady in his position of pure goodness, becomes enlivened by devotional service, and understands the science of God. Vidyate hridaya grantis, chidyante sarvasam sayaha, Shiyante chasya karmani, jista evatmaniswari. Thus, the, the, thus, bhakti yoga severs the hard knot of material affection and enables one to come to the stage of a samsayam samagram. Understanding of the Supreme Absolute Truth Personality of Godhead. Understanding of the Absolute Truth Supreme Personality of Godhead. Understanding of the Supreme Absolute Truth the Personality of Godhead. Understanding the Absolute Truth Personality of Godhead. Shimai Bhagatan Kanta one chapter thirteen text fifty eight. Dayamane Gnikbir Dehe. Pat you pat ni sahotaje. Pat you pat ni sahotaje. By his stita patim sadvi. By his stita patim sadvi. Tamagnim anuvexiati. Tamagnim anuvexiati. While outside observing her husband, who will burn in the fire of mystic power, along with his thatched collar cottage, his chaste wife will enter the fire with rapt attention. Purport by his divine grace, A.C. Bhakti Vinanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Gandhari was an ideal chaste lady, a life companion of her husband. And therefore, when she saw her husband burning in the fire of mystic yoga, along with his cottage of leaves, she despaired. She left home after losing her 100 sons. And in the forest, she saw that her most beloved husband was also burning. Now she actually felt alone. And therefore, she entered the fire of her husband and followed her husband to death. This entering of a chaste lady into the fire of her dead husband is called sati rite. And the action is considered to be most perfect for a woman. In a later age, the sati rite became an obnoxious criminal affair because the ceremony was forced upon even an unwilling woman. In this fallen age, it is not possible for any lady to follow the sati rite as chastely as it was done by Gandhari and others in past ages. A chaste wife like Gandhari would feel the separation of her husband to be more burning than actual fire. Such a lady can observe the sati rite voluntarily, and there is no criminal force by anyone. When the rite became a formality only, and force was applied upon a lady to follow the principle, actually it became criminal. and therefore the ceremony was to be stopped by state law. This prophecy of Narada Muni to Maharaj Yudhisthira forbade him to go to his widowed aunt. 
Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Well, this is very, very interesting because in a sense, it's implying that there are, well, let's say, almost no chaste women in Kali Yuga. Because uh, very few women would voluntarily do this in Kali Yuga. In fact, it could be almost zero. <laughs> However, what did happen in Kali Yuga was members of the family who were greedy for property and money would force their mom to go into the fire at the time of uh, cremation of, the, of Pitaji. So this became a formality, a forced formali formality on unwilling women Already it's, already it's Kali Yuga, and very few women are voluntarily going to want to do such a thing. And why is that? Because most probably there's no real love for the husband, and maybe the husband doesn't deserve it because he's not really a genuine devotee. So you see, everything gets... Uh, degraded and contaminated in Kali Yuga. Uh, so therefore, the British stopped the sati rite or ceremony because it was being misused too much by greedy relatives. However, in the 5,000 years ago, a chaste wife like Gandhari would feel, Prabhupada says, the separation of her husband to be more burning than actual fire. Such a lady can observe the sati rite voluntarily. So we see when Pandu died, he had two wives, uh, Kunti and Madri. And Madri was uh, heartbroken because she felt that she was the cause of Pandu's death because he became attracted to her for physical relationship. And therefore, she told Kunti, I'll commit sati, you stay with the kids and raise them. And Kunti agreed. So when Pandu died, sati entered the fire uh, with her husband. So... Big Why, a chaste wife like Gandhari would feel the separation of her husband to be more burning than actual fire. Such a lady can observe the sati rite voluntarily and there's no criminal force by anyone. Yeah, if somebody wants to jump into the fire, I don't see anybody jumping into fires nowadays. Right? <laughs> I've seen a lot of a lot of people die. I didn't, you know, I didn't see. I didn't see anyone do that. <laughs> As someone voluntarily does that, it's not a crime. Right? When the right became a formality only, and force was applied upon a lady to follow the principle, actually it became criminal, and therefore the ceremony was to be stopped by state law. So, Narada Muni is explaining what's going to happen or what is, is sure to happen to Maharaj Yudhisthira, so that he will not go and try and save Dhritarashtra or his aunt Gandhari. Why? Because when someone is determined to die, you can't really stop them. It, would be, it wouldn't be right. I saw that with my own mother. At one point, she became determined to die. And whatever I tried to do, she, she, basically she begged me, please don't do this. Let me die. And she did, holding her beads. She had, uh, she was, she had chanting beads. And uh, uh, I was going to take her to the hospital, but 
uh, it was l very late at night, so I said, I'll, I'll do it early in the morning. When I woke up, she had already left, but she left with the beads in her hand. So uh, you can't really stop a person who's determined that, you know, they've had enough of this material life, they're going to die. And, uh, however, if a person says, no, I don't want to die, then there's a possibility that they can uh, prolong their life, in a sense. But when they determined, uh, now, in the case of Jitarastra, he was determined because he became very sober. And he realized that, yeah, he could maybe live longer, but it would be in shame and it would be... Uh, actually very inappropriate at his age so he 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 lost attraction to uh, continued sense gratification he became very sober by the mercy of Vidura and he left and Gandhari as a, as a uh, chaste wife she followed him he didn't ask her to come and she followed him without him doing anything to help her he didn't make any arrangements for her at all. He, he basically ignored her. But she followed as a chaste wife. Said, See, now all these things are exceptional. You, you would not find anyone that would be willing to do such a thing today. Because there's no real love in Kali Yuga. It's all lust, unfortunately. There may be some few very, very exceptional cases, but... Uh, where is there a husband who's fully disgusted with sense gratification and is, and is determined to stop all uh, unnecessary things and just focus on the Lord? There are very few people like that. Unless they're forced by sickness. But if they're not sick, they're, 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 they're in good health still, but they've decided, that's it, I'm finished with material life. I'm just going to fix my mind on Krishna and, and I'm not going to let anything else disturb me, whether it's my wife or my children or my business or anything like that. I'm finished. And they leave. And they just meditate on Krishna. And they don't even eat. You know, when, when a person's determined to die, they stop eating. Just like in the case of Prabhupada, he never virtually stopped eating for like six months. And that is a symptom of uh, a very great devotee. It's like Bismadev. He stopped eating and, and drinking, right? And he stayed in that state for at least a month or more. In the case of Prabhupada, it was like six months. He was drinking very little bit, eating hardly anything or nothing because he fixed his mind on... Uh, he was ready to leave his body, but it took a long time, uh, and he was patiently uh, waiting and instructing his devotees to make sure that this movement would continue without his physical presence. Okay, so this is a very interesting and very uh, profound purport by Prabhupada about an ideal chaste lady named Gandhari. Srila Prabhupada Kijay. Are there any questions? Religious ladies, they used to be what is used to be really actual better half. Yeah, and the other the husband was the other better half. <laughs> he has to be the other better half. <laughs> Otherwise, how can the wife respect the husband so much? Although Dhritarashtra, you know, is questionable, right? Because he's trying to kill the Pandavas, deny them their rightful heritage, although he was supposed to be their guardian. So it's pretty heavy duty. <laughs> so Vidura did this amazing job because after all, all the offenses that Dhritarashtra committed. Yes. He didn't have to do that. He did it, 
as a duty, as a duty, you know, out of out of respect for his elder brother. But I think, like you said yesterday, is the the uh, the power of uh, association of people can change. Yeah. Thing can change. It's the only thing. It's the only thing that can change a person from. Uh, we should become uh, be, being a vishayi to becoming a devotee. Yeah, that's the main thing in life, because most people either they're in, interested in bhukti, mukti, or siddhi, kami, sakaliya santa, and they're never peaceful because they want something material. Krishna Bhakti Niskama Ateva Prashanta. But one who's a, who's a devotee, Krishna Bhakti, Bhakta, uh, Niskama, and no longer has any desire for sense gratification. This, this word Niskarmya is a very important word. It means they lost all attraction to sense gratification. That, of course, is extremely rare. But it's a fact. And when they attain that mentality, then they're peaceful. Prashanta. And then they are not disturbed by anything. They don't get upset by anything. They see everyone equally as the servant of Krishna. They don't see bodily differences. They don't see... Uh, ethnicity or nationality or any of that stuff. They see the soul's eternal relationship with Krishna. And therefore, whether they are treated nicely or treated badly, they don't get disturbed. They just continue their chanting and meditating on Krishna and serving the Lord practically through practical devotional service. So such people are very rare. But if you can find a person like that, it's like uh, when I was first coming to Krishna Conscious, at, at a, very quickly, because of the other devotees that were preaching to me, I realized Prabhupada is a very extremely exceptional person. I'm not going to find anybody like that in this world. And therefore, I put a stop to everything else I was doing, although I had scholarship to go to Russia for four years and, and get it, uh, advanced degrees, right? It was all paid for. So I just stopped it and joined the movement. Because I realized this is a one-in-a-lifetime uh, opportunity. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna meet anyone else like that you know, in my lifetime. And it was only lucky, by luck, because of the devotees that were preaching that uh, I came in contact with Prabhupada and he was giving everything I was looking for in the Bhagavad Gita. So, although I didn't understand much of it in the beginning, but I could see that everything I was looking for was there. I didn't have to go anywhere else anymore. <clears throat> so that's the mercy of devotees. Yeah, because Dhritarashtra, I mean, it was the root cause of aim, but the whole thing is it because of Dhritarashtra. Yeah. His lack of spiritual vision. You know. is, is, do, do he could have stopped it. He could have. He could have gotten rid of his son Dhritarashtra at birth, as he was advised to do, but he didn't. And because of that, his son became the cause. Although it was predicted, it'd be the cause of the destruction of the whole dynasty, the Kuru dynasty, or at least his part of the Kuru dynasty. Yeah, these are hard decisions to make. But the hardest decision to make is to give up everything and surrender to Krishna. Uh, it's even hard. I mean, we do that to become a devotee. That's for sure. But then, as a devotee, we rebuild all our attachments through marriage and all these things and get attached again. <laughs> And then to break it a second time is much harder so, because we, we went down the slippery slope of getting attached again. Yeah, and I, 
being said also, something we develop in our, uh, it's called factual anathos. Well, anarta means unwanted things. Yeah, sometimes on the platform of devotional service, yes. the devotees also develop those unwanted yeah, things. Yeah. Yes. They're watering the, the seedling and, and the weeds together. Well, they grow together. Yeah. You, you, have to, you, you have to weed like I do every day <laughs> <laughs> in my garden, and we have to do it in our mind also. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's harder to break away after we've redeveloped those same type of attachments. It's harder. <clears throat> but if we listen every day and discuss Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, then it becomes possible. E reminders. Yeah, every day we're being reminded. Haribo. Well, it depends what your position is. If your position is one of a leader, then with kind words, kind behavior. Can you summarize this question? Because His question is, let's say you're a devotee, right? Okay. And you're associating with different people, but you see someone is very abusive. What's your duty? I mean, should you try and correct the person? I mean, you're saying that, you know, someone who's Krishna conscious, they don't get angry. But what if they're in the company of someone who could be devotees also that are very abusive? Is that right? What do you do? Well, they're getting away with it. Let's put it like that. They're getting away with it. Okay, see, therefore, you have to choose who you associate with. When you see that there's what we would call a, a low-class kanista arikari, a kanista. Not all kanistas are low-class, but let's say there's really a low-class one, right? Uh, so, what do you do? You avoid their association even though you might be living in the same temple with them. But you avoid their association. Uh, in the sense that, you know, I mean, you, you can't avoid it because you're living in the same building, but you avoid any, uh, let's say, interactions. What, what's an interaction? They insult you, you interact. But if you don't interact, even though you've been insulted. Not assaulted. Assaulted is different, right? but insulted. Then uh, you're not interacting. See, the worst thing for a person who's an abuser is seeing someone that's not affected by it and not going away. That's the worst thing for them because that means they can't control that person. They can control people by getting them upset or scared. But they can't control someone that doesn't get upset and is not scared, but continues devotional service without interruption. Okay, so then it depends on what your position is. If your position is one of a leader and you do nothing, you're a nonsense and you're going to get thrown out from that responsibility. The leader has to be able to uh, correct people. That's the position of the leader. Is it your position? Well, uh, your position is to cooperate. Now, let's say the abusive person is the leader. That gets it more complicated. 
then you have to have faith in Krishna that for no reason are you going to leave your service even if there's a bad leader unless he you know does it kill somebody or tells you to jump off a bridge or something like that right or is always very insulting openly just like when Vidura was insulted by uh, Duryodhan and his brother didn't do anything so he walked away but he came back later when Duryodhan was dead so these are all difficult questions see but if you interact then you get affected then, then you're under the control of that person who's abusive because of your interaction they, they, they aroused in you a reaction right you get angry or you uh, want to hit them or something like that so, so then they win because they brought you down to their level that's what they want that's what they want yeah they want chaos see that that means when there's chaos that means they win so i mean the example would be ambarish maharaj one example another example would be uh uh Uh, okay, Maharaj Bharata takes birth as a deer, and in his next birth, he takes birth as a son of a brahmana. Who, and but he refuses to learn how to read and write or anything like that, right? And then he's treated as if he's dumb, uh, stupid uh, son. And then when the father dies, his brothers begin abusing him, deny him his inheritance, treat him like crap. Is it? Huh? Jad Bharat, yes. So they're treating him like crap, but he doesn't protest. And eventually, you know, he's on uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the graveyard uh, uh, schedule, you know, watching the cows at night so the Dakoids don't steal them, right? And he gets kidnapped by Dakoids who think he's a, he's a useless human being. So therefore, they grab him. And uh, they take him to the temple of Durga to offer him up as sacrifice. You know what I'm and he doesn't protest. And then when they're ready to cut off his head, you know, they bathe him, they dress him in white, and they prepare him for sacrifice as like a dumb animal. And when they're ready to cut off his head, Durga, the deity made out of stone, walks off the, the altar, cuts their heads off, and drinks their blood. Again, he doesn't even bat an eyelash. And when it's all over, without saying a word, he just gets up and walks out and goes back watching the cows. <laughs> so if you meditate on this, Jad Bharat, you see, and he was I mean, in a much worse position than you would ever be in. Or Ambarish Maharaj, much worse position than you would ever be in. They're not phased by it, right? And Krishna protects them. So, depends on how much faith we have in the Lord, right? A devotee can, the tolerance of a devotee is infinite because they have something so good that they're not disturbed by all this nonsense. Well, the nonsense is, is uh, insignificant for them because they have something so, so good. You know, they're meditating always on Krishna and learning something new every day and, and seeing the hand of Krishna protecting them all the time in life. Well, oh, he was a good administrator, yeah. Very, very uh, astute and very uh, psychological. You know how to gain people's, uh, you know, loyalty. Yeah. yeah. But he, but he was, but because of his uh, enviousness of the Pandavas, all those good qualities were ruined. You see, all ruined, and in the end, is completely destroyed. Yeah, he would have been worth. I mean, no, they they were 
But they told him, look, you be the ruler. Just give us one village for each one of us. And we'll, we'll, we'll leave you alone. We won't, we, won't, we won't ask for the kingdom. We'll be satisfied just with one village. He said, I won't even give you enough land to put a pin into. You see how envious he was. Because he saw previously when they had, they were given some uh, place to live and, and uh, they got uh, Maya Donovan to build a palace that, that was uh, illusory in some way for people that would approach it. And when he came to see them, uh, he came as a friend to see them, right? But uh, because of the illusory nature of the entrance, he fell into the moat. And then Draupadi left, and that was, that was it. And he got so insulted by that. He, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that, that convinced him he's going to kill them, you know, get rid of them somehow or other. You know? Because he saw, he gave them something, and they made it, they made it wonderful, more wonderful than, the, than whatever he had. So he was not into the mood of giving them one village each. Uh, each. Yeah, it's a tough world. If you have envy, everything is destroyed by it. Haribo, what glorious a Prabhupada. Just meditate on Jad Bharat. Yeah. You'll be all right. <laughs> I was going to read something amazing today, but we didn't have time. I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. This is one of the most amazing things I've ever read. You know. And Well, I'll keep it for tomorrow. How long will it take? Uh, it'll take it'll take at least twenty minutes or more. Yeah. Amazing, just amazing. I'll give you a hint, okay? This man asked a really good question of Prabhupada. 